you have already seen the different topics that we are going to cover in your upcoming lectures. From this lecture, I will guide you each and every topics that I have already discussed in, in my previous video. So our first topic is number system. Though it's a very good basic topic and you have already studied it in your class 12 syllabus, but I will also guide you the topic number system because it's very important and it's very useful topic and it's very basic topic to uh, the digital electronics. So our today's topic is number system. In your class 12 syllabus, you have already known that there are four types of number system, right? We have already known that there are four types of number system and they are decimal number system, binary number system, octal number system, Hexadecimal number system. Before going to these details of, of, of these four types of number system, I will just inform you that what is radix. First of all, you have to know that what is uh, what is radix or base, right? So first of all, you have to know that what is what is radix or base. Now, radix or base is nothing but the number of unique digits, including zero, that is present in any number system to represent that particular number system. So, what I told that the radix or base is nothing but the number of unique digits. The number of unique digits, including zero. that is present in any number system in the, in the number system to represent that particular number system We have uh, four types of uh, number system that were uh, firstly decimal number system. In the decimal number system, the radix of or base of the decimal number system is equal to 10. That means the number of unique digits, including 0, that is present in the decimal number system is equal to 10. We have, we have already known that in the decimal number system we have 10 digits, 0 to 9. So these 10 digits are unique digits. Right? It is present, these are present in decimal number system to represent that particular number system. So, in case of binary number system, the radix of base is equal to 2. And we already know that in binary number system, we have only two digits, that is 0 and 1. And that, uh, these two digits are represent that binary number system. In upper number system, the radix of base is equal to 8. We have already, we have already also known that. In upper number system, we have 8 digits and they are 0 to 7. So, these 0 to 7 numbers are used to represent that particular upper number system. In hexadecimal number system, the radix of base is equal to 16. And the number of unique digits that is used to represent that particular number system is equal to 16. And uh, these unique numbers are, we know that 0 to 9 and then A. B, C, D, E, and F. So this 0 to 9 is 0 to 10, and here we already see that these 6 character digits, and these are total 16 digits are used to represent the 
particular exceptional number system. So these are the basis of number system. We already uh, we know that what is radix and according to the radix we have four types of number system: decimal number system, binary number system, octal number system, and exceptional number system. We have already uh, known the basic uh, base of radix of these particular number system. Now. We see an example of radix addition. Suppose we have two numbers, 21, whose base is 4. That means the number of unique digits that is present in the number system to represent that particular number system is equal to 4. And the radial numbers is below belongs to a particular number system. That uh, whose base is 4. We have, uh, suppose we have another number that is 25 and whose base is also 4. Suppose we have to add these two numbers of uh, radix uh, of base 4. Now we, we have a simple state, simple uh, logic to perform these addition operations. To perform this addition of the operation, we have to remember a particular formula. Letter number its base radix is equal to radix into carry plus result. We have to remember this formula to perform any times of radix. Addition. Right. Suppose we are performing this addition. 21 whose radical base is 4 and 25 whose radical base is equal to 4. So first of all we have to add this 5 plus 1. This is equal to 6. And this 6 can be represented by this formula. So we can write 6 is equal to radix, radix means 4. 4 into 1 plus 2. So you can write 6 in this way. 6 is equal to 4 into 1 plus 2. So we compare this uh, formula with this example, with this uh, particular example. The 6 is equal to 4 into 1 plus 2. So this is a result and this is scale. So we put 2 here result and we put carry here 1. Now we can perform this addition 2 plus 2 plus 1, it does means is 5. So we again write 5 in this way. 5 is equal to 4 into 1 plus 1. So that is result and that is carry. So result is here and carry is here. So that is the result of addition and its base is 4. We can perform any types of uh, any types of addition or any types of uh, base. Of the competitive induction number of any base by using this formula, by using this method. Suppose uh, take a simple decimal, decimal addition example. Suppose then you will be clear about that formula. Suppose 27 and 32, its base is 10, its normal decimal addition, right. So in the normal decimal addition, the result of its 7 plus 2 is equal to 9 and 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. Now we can perform this addition operation by using the radix addition method by using this formula. Suppose 27 is basis 10, it's 32, its basis also 10. So 7 plus 2 is equal to how much 9? We can write 9 as radix 10, 10 into 0 plus 9. We can write 9 in this way. So 9 is the result, 9 is the result, and 0 is the carry. Again, we can perform this addition 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 plus 0 is equal to 5. We can write 5 as 5 is equal to 10 into 0 plus 5. 5 is the result. We can write 5 here and 0 is the carry. So we can see that 
these are the same so in this method you have to you can perform any types of reduction of any any reduction any base reduction number of any base these are the simplest method to perform reduction of any numbers of any base right now suppose we can see the multiplication by using this formula suppose there is two number one is 34 and the other is 43 and its base is 5 its base is also 5 we have to multiply uh, these two numbers so in the multiplication we use same formula that we have used in our radix addition so here first of all we multiply 3 into 4 3 into 4 is equal to 12 right 12 then we can write 12 as in this way with 5 and this radix into 2 plus 2 now we can compare this with this formula 2 is the reason we can put 2 here and 2 is the tag we can put 2 here now 3 cross 3 is equal to 9 plus 2 is equal to 11. We can write 11 as 5 into 2 plus 1. Now, 1 is the reason. We can write 1 here and 2 is the carry. The carry is again here. Again, we multiply this 4 into 4. 4 into 4 is equal to 16. 16 can be written as 5 into 3 plus 1, right? Now 1 is the result, 1 is 2 here and 3 is the tag, 3 is 1 here. Now 4 into 3 is equal to 12 plus 3 is equal to 15. 4 into 3 12 plus 3 15. Now 15 is uh, written as 5 into 3 plus 0. So 0 is the result, we can put 0 here and 3 is the value, we can put 3 here. Now we have to add this 2. 2. So we can write 2 as 5 into 0 plus 2. 2 is the result. 2 and 0 is the carry. 0. 1 plus 1 again 2. 2 can be written as 5 into 0 plus 2. 2 is the result. And 0 is the carry. Again 2 plus 0 plus 0 is equal to 2. 2 can be written as 5 into 0 plus 2. Now 2 is the uh, reason and 0 is the carry. Now here 3 plus 3 is equal to 3. So 3 can be written as radius 5 into 0 plus 3. So 3 is the reason. We can put 3 here and 0 is the carry. So this is the answer of the multiplication with base 5. So in this way, way you can perform any types of addition. Multiplication, subtraction, or division uh, operations by using this method, this tradition. If, uh, if you use uh, the normal method, then it is more difficult to perform these uh, operations. So, if you use this method to perform any types of addition of any numbers of any base, then it will, it will be more easy. So, in this lecture, I have uh, discussed uh, what is radix, and then along with the radix, there are four types of number system. Decimal number system, binary number system, octal number system, exponential number system, and then we, we perform uh, the different types of radix operations, radix addition and radix multiplication. So, from the next lecture, I will discuss the, the four different types of number system in details, and I will discuss the conversion between the four types of number system, the conversion between the binary to decimal, decimal to binary, and then binary to octal, octal to binary by the way, essential to binary and so on. So thank you for watching.